Francesco is gonna show us that this is a real good dough. Yeah. See? Bye. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. What a privilege to be here today with this wonderful man who is going to show us how to make the best pizza at home and he's gonna show us not only how to make pizza but also how to make margarita pizza but not just a simple margarita pizza a golden, a golden pizza, margarita a golden margarita a yellow margarita a golden neapolitan style margarita with special cherry tomatoes sydney's first guys sydney's yeah. first and this man here is the master of pizzas here in sydney mr francesco spataro Hi, straight guys. from catania <laughs> hi guys how are you Francesco is a chef of Aperitivo restaurant, this famous pizzeria in Little Leader in Sydney. So Francesco, yes. please tell us the secrets of um, pizza napoletana, how do you make your dough and uh, we want to know everything from you. Allora Vincenzo, for Neapolitan style pizza, uh, it's a basic uh, method but, it's, but you gotta be very strict. Yes. Uh, well, we are referring everything to one, one, one liter of water, okay, so everything is for one liter of water at room temp temperature. If it's summer, just a little bit colder. Don't put any warm, warm water because you make things worse. Okay. So basically you start to put in your water and dissolve your sea salt into the water in the first. Water. Okay. Then add 10% 10, 10 of uh, your flour in, into, the, into the water. Yes. And then dissolve the yeast into the flour and water. Okay? Yeah. Never, never put the yeast in, in contact directly with the salt. So the yeast has straight, straight away a bite, some, some food, you know what I mean? Yes. Be because the flour, the sugars in the flour, it's the food of the yeast. Of the yeast. So this, this is the amount of natural yeast that I am going to use. It's one gram and that can, can make six pizzas. So it's very minimal. 1.5 to uh, 1.6 kilos of flour. I'm incorporating more flour in, into our dough mass. See how we are creating, we are extracting the gluten by this mechanical movement. We are forming our glutemic net. Work always with one hand, so one stay always clean and the other one does the dirty work. When you have consistency, you can move your, your, your dough to the bench. Uh, uh, what's the rule? How do, you, how do you work the dough, you know? You, you work the dough in this way here. You keep on uh, knee it down, yes. folding it side to side, side on top of side. Right. And incorporating the remaining flour that uh, as, you you have, go. as you go, slowly, slowly. You know, it can I touch it? Of course. Yeah, nothing soft. Wow, very soft. <laughs> Guys, this is history in the in, in the movement. making. In the making. This pizza tradition, napoletana guy. has been around for such a long time, and today we're showing you a piece of history. So, guys, here we are. Our pizza dough is ready. And when do we know when to stop mixing? When you push it and it springs back. Oh wow! It does bounce back. You like it, huh? Oh my God, I love it. Francesco is going to show us that this is a real good dough. Yeah. See, our dough mass has small pockets of air which will help the fermentation process. So now you want to take your dough, put it in the bowl, cover it with a wet towel or some plastic wrap and let it rest for two hours before you form your pizza balls. All right, Vincenzo, after our, our dough rested a little bit and we start to form our dough balls. You size them to 250 to 260 grams approximately, and that is for one round pizza, one approximately round. 30 centimeters. You need to let them rest and grow for a minimum of 16 to 24, 20, 28 hours. In my own opinion, everything over that is just an exaggeration. After uh, our dough grows up, yeah. rise up actually, uh, it will look like this basically. It mm. has a lot of gases inside, which is the product of the fermentation. Uh, we don't want to, especially in the Neapolitan style pizza, we don't want to squash those gases out by using roller, roller oh. pin or rolling machine or that you fancy stuff. Hands. We just funny fi our fingers to basically move the gas from the center 
to, to the side, the side, forming the crust, forming a cornicione. So Francesco, margherita pizza is my favorite. When I go to a new pizzeria, I always order it and that's how I taste the pizza yolk. That's right. You're right? Yes. But this is a special margherita. This is very unique. Yes. So how do you make it? Well, it's basically a margherita. We just changed the, to the tomatoes. But it's not just basically. I mean, margherita is the king, the queen of the pizza. Yes, margherita, of course, is, is the queen of the pizza because if you have a good margherita, you can taste base, ingredients and the skills of the pizza chef into making it and cooking it. So it's a benchmark. Indeed. The key ingredient of this pizza, uh, besides the pizza chef, <laughs> basically the key ingredient of this pizza are the yellow cherry tomatoes that are imported and they come from the side of Mount Vesuvio in Naples. Um, they are very sweet in taste. They have a little bit thicker than usual skin outside and uh, the taste is just unbelievable. You should crush it them by hands, just squash it between your hands. Here we have our pizza base here, nice and, nice and stretched. Do a little bit smaller and then you give the final stretch on top of the pedal. We start to add the sauce. You first take the crushed one, a couple of spoons. Then you can start slowly, slowly to add the crushed ones. So this is our Fior di Latte mozzarella cheese. And we gotta add, let's say, 50, 70 grams of that on top. Pinch of sea salt, basil, extra virgin olive oil, and be baked for less than two minutes at more than 450 degrees oven, strictly in a wood fire oven. So using your, your fingers like this, you grab the size without squashing it, and you stretch it a little bit, drag our pizza into the pedal, and stretch it to the right size, so now our pizza is ready to go inside the wood, the wood fire oven where it will cook for less than two minutes. It's a very fast blast cooking, uh, which is possible only in a wood fire oven. And that is in order to preserve the freshness of the ingredients because uh, we are not gonna cook the sauce in full inside the wood fire oven. It will get probably to 60, deg to 60 degrees. It will just warm up, so the freshness is there, the basil will, will not burn, um, the crust itself will, uh, will cook and will rise and we have a very fragrant uh, uh, pizza crust. Mr. Francesco Spataro, finally I can have your famous yellow pizza, Margherita, grazie. Grazie a te Vincenzo. Guys, don't forget to come to Aperitivo Restaurant on the 21st of November, it's a Tuesday night. It's a special night. Aperitivo yes. Pizza Night, okay? Just go to the website, we've got a link underneath. Don't forget to book. Yeah. Place Unlimited. Yes. Sydney Time Festival. Fun is unlimited. <laughs> I like that. Enjoy, Vincenzo. Let's try this oh, beautiful piece of... Oh, smell is incredible. Nice, huh? Oh. Mm. Come on. Mm. So unique. So sweet. So perfect. Delicious, perfect. The dough, oh my God, the dough is so light, you know? So guys, here we go. Here we go. From Aperitivo Restaurant. Thank you, Francesco Spataro. Thank you, Vincenzo Splay. E ora si mangia? With Vincenzo Splay. Yeah, thank you. Ciao. Ciao. See you soon.